On the Korean Peninsula tonight, the first high-level talks between North and South since 2015. One of the key developments surrounds the Olympics one month from tonight. Now the competition will include a North Korean delegation. The Winter Games may have started this conversation, but it's the military games that are the real focus. Here's Geneviève Beauchemin. A few steps into the demilitarized zone ended months of threats to boycott the Olympic Games. The North met up with its rivals to the South for face-to-face -face talks in the Peace House to offer, said the delegation from the Hermit Nation, a New Year's gift to the people. The North will send a high-level delegation to the Pyeongchang Olympics, says Ri song -wong. That means the South will likely lift travel sanctions for some officials. After months of escalating tensions, fears of nuclear fallout, many approached this breakthrough with caution. North Korea answered calls from the South for the first time since 2015 to set up this meeting, a move that came after leader Kim Jong-un made an abrupt push for better ties. All this fueled, some say, by tough talk from U.S. President Donald Trump. He corrupt any channel of communication between Pyongyang and Washington. There's no other choice but to come to Seoul. The two sides agreed to reopen military talks, but the North was quick to call reports that included denuclearization absurd. Our cutting-edge weapons, such as nuclear bombs, ballistic missiles, completely target the United States, he says. They do not target our ethnic people, nor China or Russia. So far, the only athletes from the North to qualify for the Games are Paris figure skaters with ties to Canada. They skate to a song by Quebec artist Ginette Renault, that after spending the summer training near Montreal with coach Bruno Marcotte. As athletes, they were amazing. They, they're like sponges, they just want to learn so much. The North Koreans picked up tips from skaters they admire, Megan Duhamel and Eric Radford, silver medalists in Sochi. I think that it just sends such a great message, and I think that for them, the experience is going to be amazing. Back in 1988, the North boycotted the Games in Seoul. This time, the two nations are talking about marching in the opening ceremony side by side. Lisa. An encouraging sign. All right, CTV is Geneviève Beauchemin in Saint-Jolie, Quebec tonight.